Hello, so when you're looking for a family car, you're probably going to be searching for something like this, the Skoda Kodiak. This one is a brand new, it's a facelift model, and it's also a sport line model. So what is facelift, what is facelift has brought are these new front headlights with slightly different uh, shape. Also, the shape is different at the back, we'll get to that later. And of course, this being a sport line model, it means it has these black accents. So you have a black mask on the front, black mirrors, black uh, stripes on the windows, also the black badges in the back, black uh, saying of Skoda. You also have specific 19 inch wheels with a tire size of 235, 50R19. These are Pirelli Scorpion Verde tires on it. So yeah, these are also specific. And then of course you have sport line badges on most places so that you know you have a sport line version of the car which looks more sporty yeah uh, so in the in the interior the sport line is also different because you have this suede on the doors and uh, well i thought it's going to be on the roof lining as well because on the in the skoda superb of sport line it, it was there also but it's not it's not here the other things you have here is the carbon looking plastic on the inside and some other sport line badges and also these sporty seats which actually they are pretty good they also have the memory function they are electrically adjustable but the shape of them is is pretty good pretty sporty then of course in the back you have loads of space for sitting just come and look i'm one meter 90 sitting behind myself and I'm here like in a bloody limousine. Look at how many space I've got here, even for the hat. So it's really practical in here. The other very good thing in this particular model is that I have a domestic socket in here of 230 volt. Uh, next to it is a classical 12 volt socket. And next to that is one USB-C connector. And uh, I also have, of course, the air conditioning in the back. So it's pretty awesome. Now we're coming around the back. You can see the new rear lights the, they are reshaped so they look more more uh, dynamic uh, actually this this face lift in terms of styling is really good i must say the the car looks much much better and now here you have the massive boot of the skoda uh you will put the number here but it's really massive uh what i like about it are some of some of these simply clever solutions with these hooks here 12 volt socket on this side also some trays in here and under the bonnet you have probably a spare yeah you have a spare wheel of 19 inch so that's pretty good so yeah that would be about it to the walk around of the vehicle you can see the black skoda badges here and well this car is two liter diesel the most powerful variant of the diesel and let's see how it drives Let's go for a drive. Okay guys, so we wanted to make some footages of the car here but uh, the storm is coming so let's just go straight to driving let's go inside and let's drive look at that of course you can get this car even with petrol engine this one as i said is the most powerful diesel one which means that it has 200 horsepower so it's pretty it's pretty good uh, the kodiak rs before which was a pretty beloved car of uh, fast family that uh, was also diesel it had 245 horsepower so with some tuning of this engine you can definitely get something like that let me just show you the dynamics ah, for diesel <laughs> uh, you also have a flappy pedal gearbox which is what you might want in a sporty car and i have to say its response is uh, usually pretty good Sometimes the car, when you have it in normal mode, it feels like it lacks power, so it shifts down. But uh, really, when you are in the individual mode, as I am now, it feels like it has 
all power it really needs. So the superb on the motorway, I had 5.7 at at the more than uh, more than it should be motorway speed around 140, 150. With this, 7.7. So it's quite a big difference, quite a big jump, I would say. Also, the car weighs 1830 something kilos, which is also quite heavy. So there are these disadvantages of an SUV, of course. But people nowadays, they love SUVs because, I don't know, I'm not really a fan of SUV because they're practically or sitting high. So I have maybe a good visibility out of the car. Uh, yeah, otherwise, the car is pretty pretty quiet when you're driving normally from the tires it's very quiet from the bumps and when you're going around the bed road it's also quite quiet it's a really nice ride you know uh, you can talk very quietly to each other in the car so yeah it's nice And just some last words from this humongous boot of Skoda Kodiak. Well, it's still a probably the best family SUV you can get for this price. In this Sportline model, it's aimed for the customers who want some sporty look, which is definitely not me because I want sporty handling also, not only look. But you have some good seats, you have some good looks. And uh, well, even though this car is not going to be as, as better, in the corners or as good as in the corners as the Skoda Superb uh, which I would take it's still a pretty decent car and if you need a family SUV it's good and with the diesel engine it also has a decent fuel consumption although not as good as Skoda Superb so really what I want to tell you is to buy rather Skoda Superb than this but if you want this then it's up to you goodbye and see you at some other car